Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, Lorenzo here with another weekly unboxing video. This is going to be the last weekly unboxing video I'm going to be doing for a little while. I'm changing my delivery schedule of my my comic shop delivery and my things from another world delivery to monthly only. Uh, it's just it's becoming a little bit more overwhelming than uh, than I would like. Uh, it's it's probably for the best, but it's just going to. It's still going to be huge amounts when they come, but it, the frequency is just going to be a little bit less. But, but today I've got like four things, one from eBay, one from um, an exclusive shop, and one from Things from Another World, and one from my comic shop. So I'm going to start with the eBay book first. That was kind of a, a thing that I got caught up in, you know, how it gets it. To, you're bidding on something and you lose it. Uh, there's no reason I should have done this, but I lost the first one. And then it just became like, oh yeah, I call up, I'm covering the bidding war now. I already got this book in the first place, but I, I saw it for a good price and I probably paid the same thing I paid for it the first time I bought it. But I have confidence in this book. It's going to be worth. Uh, it's going to be worth something in the end, and I like the book. To begin with, so it's no great loss. Oh God, they used the scotch tape. I guess they used. Uh, could have been worse. I guess they didn't use a bubble mailer to, to mail it in. All right. So here's the, the first book from eBay. Scotch taped up and all. This is Duel Number One by Alex Cormack and Curtis Martins. This is a good book. Number two should be coming out pretty soon. I like the fact that it's not coming out like every week. I think it's every, so far it's been like bi-monthly. We'll see how it works. I think it's a 10 part series. So do it number one. I think it'll be around for a while. So next book, let's go with Things from Another World. TFA. Uh, up front. So they do use peanuts. I'm a big fan of peanuts though. Though they are the environmentally friendly kind of peanuts. Oh. Oh, that's, oh, double submitted. Oh, oh my god. Peanuts instead of uh, bubble wrap. Oh, not a good idea, folks. Don't like it. Alright. First one is Avengers Forever number four. I think I probably. <laughs> Already have this book. Didn't mean to buy two of them. Uh, next one, they're all mixed up too, and they kind of bent because of the uh, peanuts. Uh, this is not a, this is not a good thing. This is Star Wars Dr. Afra number nineteen. Uh, two copies of that. Those those peanuts are not a good option. I'm, I'm seeing dings on the uh, on the spines already from these. I should write them. I could. I could make a difference. Dude, don't don't do that. That, that, that. That's horrible. Okay, doubles of. Maybe they just came in damaged. Who knows? My comic shop has them all mint condition most of the time. Star Wars Darth Vader number twenty one, first cover appearance of Moff Gideon. Nice. This is only a couple weeks late. Also, Star Wars uh, Bounty Hunters, number 21. Oh, these are all Sprouse variants. Uh, this is the this is the dude from The Mandalorian uh, that Carl Weathers plays. God, I can't remember his name. <laughs> I'm really bad with that. Oh, I got two of those, too. What, what do you know? Mando. So two of that guy. And Miles Morales, Miles Morales Spider-Man, number 36. Uh, this one was also having some um, production issues with Marvel. Uh, the covers were, there was some kind of an issue with the cover. I forget what it was, but uh, I have to look at this one to see how it looks. This is not dinged. God, they should be fucked. Oh, God, this is horrible packing. It's, it just burns me when I see people packing poorly. All right, uh, Jim Ruggs. Hulk Grand Design number one, the Ed Piscor variant. 
Oh, and a hook. I kind of like this. I like the uh, the, the Fournier's uh, 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 window shade variants. Um, Marvel uh, Hulk number five. Of uh, this, the, the Fournier's window shade variant Hulk number five. And the others you probably saw that was unpacking them is Hulk number five. Cover A. Doubles. You know, they do this, they, they face them back to back and then they put them in the peanut box. I mean, I, I can't, I keep going on about the peanuts thing, but just, peanuts are not good for comic books. Just, just not a good idea. So, two of those. I got three copies of that one now. And the last one is the Hulk number five Crunch Forever variant. And this is, uh, I think it's John Boy. This John Boy? I think it is John Boy. Yeah. Not, uh, I'll correct it later, but I think this is, uh, this is definitely the Carnage Forever variant from them. So, so that's a nice run of books, but disappointing packing job. Let's see what's, uh, see what my comic shop does. They do much better packing than anyone else. You gotta give them that. Folks at T-Fall need to take some lessons. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe that's what I'm talking about. The movement. There's no movement. There's movement with the uh, with those peanuts, and, you, and these are wrapped in a in a bag. They're tight. They're not moving at all. The movement is your enemy. That's when it comes to valuable collectibles. Okay, here we go. Did I mentioned they were beautifully packed. Yes, the receipts over here, and off the top. No look is, hey, the Pentagram of Horror. A book I don't have. This is nice. Black Caravan. Very cool. Another horror book. Let me some classic horror books. Avenger. Oh, this is the second printing of uh, number 53. First appearance of the Red Panther. Nice. First copy of this one. First and only, I think. Man, Batman Shadow War Alpha, which was a decent book. I did read it. Death of Ra's al Ghul. Anyone hasn't read it? Spoiler, Ra's al Ghul dies in here. And my God, this his death is just horrendous. <laughs> so, if he comes back from this, I don't know. I'm sure he probably will. They will have some cute stories of how he, they do it. But man, it was, it was it was pretty awesome with the way they killed him. All right, oh, first A cover of Hulk Grand Design Monster by Jim Rugg. Love this book. This is one of my favorite books of that week when it came out. Jim Rugg is such a chameleon, and I say that with all due respect. He can just ape his style that look like so many different artists, and that's that's that is a gift. Uh, some people are great in their own their own style, but his style is is having his own style and being able to imitate others. Man, a lot of us wish that we could do that. This is very nice, and the book was good. Uh, wow, what do, what do you know? Another copy of number five without dings because they didn't use peanuts. And Halcyon Legacy Star Wars the uh, Star Wars Halcyon Legacy number one. Second printing, the black cover with, uh, God, this is not, this is not uh, Chewbacca. This is some other Wookiee on the cover here. I forget which. Um, sort of Star Wars fans will know who that is. And Harley Quinn, number 13. Uh, the first appearance of The Verdict, I want to say. Uh, this is uh, number 13. Uh, yeah, this was a fine copy, too. So it was probably about two, two twenty-five or something like that, which is pretty decent for a new book. It looks good. It looks better than the ones they sent me just now, which are already damaged. This is this is pretty cool. That's what I love about my kind of shop, you know. Maybe I'll change my preference about pre-ordering. Not sure. And here is Deathstroke uh, Inc. Number seven. This is also a first appearance of, um, gosh, <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Sorry, folks. I remember, I'll remember it later. 
but this is the first appearance also of Deathstroke uh, Inc. number seven. And Black Panther number four, the A cover. And this is one I've been looking for. Um, this is this is actually a VG copy. This was like dirt cheap because you know, it was it's like I think it was what cover price was five ninety nine six bucks. So I probably paid like two bucks for this. Couldn't turn it down. The Scotty Young variant of Ghost Rider number one. Very nice, and it's a very decent condition. And I got that variant cover without paying like the full price for it. It's a win win. Last book is Venom number five, the A cover. And this one was, uh, this was a new mint, so it was just regular, regular cover price. So there's one book left. And uh, that one was from Warp Zone Comics. And I got that because I was, was doing my uh, weekly, uh, my weekly haul video on Wednesday. And I saw the cover for this book and the previews for the next week. So both are circumstances and I thought that this was a really cool cover. And he's got a, a thing for that book, for that uh, for that particular book and those and that character anyway. So I thought, uh, I'm gonna get that book. And I, and I sent him the link, I think he's gonna get it too, so. Any, ooh, they sent the free comic book day, Vampire of the Masquerade, uh, number one, Winter's Teeth. It's a uh, it's packing material. <laughs> cool. And this is the book that I was looking for. Uh, this is, and it looks marvelous because they packed it well. This is I think a one in one thousand. It's by Ben Harvey, and it's the something that kill something is killing the children, number twenty one. Limited edition. Ben Harvey, I love that that graffiti on the wall look, and um, th this is this is such a cool cover. This is one, this is one of my favorite covers I've seen of this book, um, incentive and otherwise. Wow, Erica and all her glory at the top of the stairs. Oh, that's it. Um, another free comic book day uh, book from last year or from a while back. So. Next time it's going to be monthly, and we'll see, I'll see what I'm making my mind about who I'm going to pre-order from. But that's not uh, that's like no one's no one's concern, but mine. But I'll figure that stuff out. So I'll probably spend um, my extra time doing and editing videos for my drawing channel, which um, really needs some love. I've only done a, a handful of videos for that one, but that's a whole different channel. So that's it for this one. Thanks for stopping by and watching this unboxing, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.